what two videos in a week what's going on <laughs> uh, right here I am back again now uh, well, it's been a been a rather strange week for me actually um, uh, strange in an interesting way now of course all you regulars all know of my um, addiction to Destiny 2 Destiny before that I've been going on for six years now, just playing it every night, and oh, it's just uh, my thing, you know. Um, now, one of the things I most like about Destiny are the large selection of guns uh, that you can collect and uh, play with and shoot. And I was uh, trawling eBay. And I came across um, came across somebody who was selling a couple of life size guns, and normally these are fairly expensive, but these were these were I think I think it cost me seventy two quid for two of them, um, and just put them over here so I can show them to you better. Um, okay, that was one of them. Now that's um, that's the Rat King sidearm. It's a gun I find difficult to use in the game, but it's a very iconic game with this um, with the the rats on the side there. And it turns out that these are some older guns he had needed to make some room and. Um, he would send them off a bit cheap. Um, right. that's, uh, that's the other one I got. Okay, as you can see, it's very subtly done now with silver. And the parts in a, in a slightly darker, darker shade. Um, yeah, so I um, I bought I bought those two, and I was very very happy with them. Um, and it turns out that um, after a conversation, it turns out that the lad that I got them from was was prepared to do some commissions for me, like. In other words, I I say which gun I would like, and basically he would get them 3D printed. He doesn't do that himself. He buys them, uh, he gets them in kit form and <coughs> assembles them, and then and then paints them. Um, now, I mean, I used to be an ace an ace painter in my old days of um, of, of painting airfix aircraft. But um, I've never tried anything um, brand new with, with acrylics or anything like that. So I thought it best to leave it to someone who knows what they're doing. So yeah, I'll be getting, um, I'll be getting a few more of these um, over the next uh, few months. Um, so yeah, so I was, I was delighted with, um, with those. Um, you know, as you can see from that one, it's... Very nicely done here, yeah, and it's got a kind of a kind of a weather look to it um, on the top there. I mean, there's there's many ways you can you can paint these. Um, you can because there are there are shade what they call shaders in the game, which means you can give different colours to to different games uh, different weapons and, and and pieces of, of, of armour so you basically you can colour them up any way you wish but um, to say that particular one's got a like it's a gold weathered look if you like uh, I was very pleased with these very pleased indeed and the other side arm um, um, so it's, it's pure silver which most of these most of these guns 
in that particular series were um, yeah so I was I was uh, very delighted with those and then to top it off um, I came across <coughs> someone else who was selling some of the um, the bungee reward replicas now there's been it's been about I don't know eight six to eight of these over the <coughs> over the last couple of years um, basically um, in the old days you used to have to go on these very very long uh, and difficult quests to get these pinnacle weapons what they called pinnacle weapons <coughs> and they were sort of like the best weapons in the game basically uh, but you had to do a lot to get them now it's always been my policy uh, never to buy any bungee rewards that I haven't earned I mean all the bungee rewards that I've got I've actually bought myself uh, and if I see any on eBay, I would only ever buy uh, stuff that I've actually earned in the game myself. And I came across one which... Um, I've been coveting for quite a while. Now these are the, as I say, these are the replicas of, of the iconic guns. And this is the Lunar's Howl hand cannon. In miniature, comes on this, comes on this little stand, and it's got a, it's got a magnetic hilt there, which slots in, and so it keeps it, keeps it in place, so it doesn't keep falling off. Um, now these, these miniatures are getting more expensive by the week. Um, it's not unusual for these to actually sell for. <clears throat> over 150 pounds sometimes creeping up towards 200 I've seen them sell it's not it's not what the dealers are asking it's what they're actually selling for um, now I I actually even though I'm not the greatest when it comes to um, crucible um, I actually went on this croak quest to, to get this gun oh and it was a nightmare took me forever <clears throat> but I was determined to get there I got there in the end but um, I was too late to buy this from the bungee site so now I've, I've bought it say from a dealer but I did earn it in game so um, it's not anything that uh, that bothers me in particular and um, you get this nice this nice box into which it when you take that off to which it fits the stand and the gun so if you want to keep it in there you know to keep it safe I've got mine um, <coughs> displayed because it looks so nice and you also get this um, this schematic of the of the weapon <coughs> so I was delighted to get hold of this um, it, it cost me it cost me 120 uh, which is, believe me, it's a good price. Um, as, I say, as I said before, Destiny <coughs> stuff is uh, creeping up and up and up. So, uh, yeah, I was delighted to pick that up for for 120 and it gets pride of place in my collection at the moment. I think it's the most I've paid uh, for any Destiny item. Um, and while I was at it, I picked up another couple of bits. Um, that was um, another Bungie Awards that I earned in game, which I actually bought from the Bungie store. It's just a just a ghost for something I did in the Shadow Keep expansion. Um, it's retired now already, so it's um, and it's starting to go for silly money. But uh, they, I mean, these things. Traditionally take months and months to get to you. I mean the Shadow Keep expansion came out ages ago um, But it, it just takes a long long time especially with the COVID problem now as well um, So yeah, it's it's old stuff, but 
you've just got to hang on and wait for it. And there was a couple of other items I bought. Um, that's the that's the bottle opener in the shape of a, a ghost, uh, which was done by Numskull, who do a lot of this um, bungee license stuff. And then there was this nice little tricorn pin. Um, but this stuff I'm showing you now came from, <coughs> excuse me, came from um, bungee events, you know, around the country, which uh, is the sort of stuff I like to pick up uh, because it's stuff you don't see very often. Um, so I was delighted also to be able to pick up the the Titan King book. Uh, it's just a, um, basically just a, a ruled notepad. But you could only you could only pick it up from one of the the bungee events. I think they had one called EGX around about 2016, was it? And that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. I've got a few bits and pieces. And that was around the Taken King era. So that's a few years old now. It's I think it's faux leather. I can't imagine it being real leather. Um, they would be given away. And then this was another thing that apparently was given away. It's um, it's one of these mega blocks, um, little figures. You can buy all sorts of Destiny stuff in these mega blocks. I've only got one other item, which I'll have shown in one of my other videos. But um, yeah, that apparently came at one of these uh, events as well. So pleased to get hold of that. Um, and then there was the, the Destiny 2 hat, which you could only get um, at these, these events. This came from, I know this came from the EGX event, wherever that was. Um, got the tricorn and the two there. Uh, the Destiny 2 and then. Um, I think Virgin hosted one of these events, because I've got some other Virgin stroke bungee branded stuff so that's obviously where that came from <coughs> and then um, last but not least I managed to pick that up now this was an absolute bargain um, I've mentioned to you before that um, you can buy these um, promotional discs of which only 500 are printed I have one for the original Destiny game on PS4 um, this is the original Destiny game on Xbox One. Um, basically, it's turn it around for you so you can better see it. Uh, as you can see there at the bottom, promotional disc, not for resale. So this is for the press and um, sort of YouTube vlogger stuff like that. And um, because only five hundred of them get printed, they're quite collectible. Um, Prices of some of them are quite, you know, high, 40, 50 quid. Uh, that cost me four, so I was delighted with that. Um, it's another one. I've got, as I say, I've got the Destiny one. I now need both of the, the Destiny 2 ones, which um, I've never seen online, so they're obviously quite, quite scarce. I'm just thinking about this. I, I've forgotten the name of it. I think it's the bridge light. Uh, they call it um, hand. Sorry, um, side arm. Um, yeah, it suddenly came to me when I was uh, musing there about the discs. Yeah, so that was um, that's what I picked up on the Destiny front, and I just had to get it on video because um, I absolutely love the guns. Um, so that was it for this one folks it's quite a short video but i had to get it out there uh next time i'm not sure probably probably be something about um, books or comics or something we haven't covered for a while but uh, anyway thanks for thanks for everything thanks for getting the comments rolling in and the subs and what have you and thanks for looking in here and i will see you very shortly bye bye now